Hello everyone, welcome to the July allotment. We had very good rain of the past 10-12 days and all the plants have benefited from it. So today I thought it's nice to show you what all I harvested on this particular day after the rain finished. First it is gherkins. Planted four plants and I am getting plenty of harvest from it. Some nice spring onions. We've tried this gherkins raw and it's a bit on the bitter side. So we will try and pickle them with salt, garlic and coriander seeds. And uh, I hope it will taste really well, good. That's all the gherkins from just one day and there's still plenty more on the plants left to harvest. Next it's the purple top turnips. Because these are multi-sown there are still some which are small. So I will go through all of them and just pull the ones which are big enough to be pulled which will give the smaller ones enough space to grow. I've got looking through two big turnips that can be used. Although the leaves looked particularly eaten, you don't have to waste them. You still can use them very well. These are the late sown purple beans french beans and there's loads of beans on it i will go through each plant and only pick the ones which are big enough and leave the rest you do have to do it this regularly because if you leave beans on the plant and they turn into seeds then the plant will stop producing more beans so continuously go through all your plants and pick the ones that are big enough the bigger the ripe ones that are ready to pick will have a firm touch plus a slight feel on the beans for its bean inside if they are very small and you don't feel the bean pods inside then they are not ready to be picked This is my patty pan, but looking at the shape of the squash, it has been cross-pollinated earlier with a courgette maybe, a round courgette, and that's why it's not the right sh shape. All squashes will cross-pollinate with each other if they, are in cross, uh, if they are in close proximity. So you have to make sure that you get fresh seeds or they do not cross-pollinate with another squash. The early, late sown runner beans have started to produce runner beans, but they are not fully ready. You do have to look through the leaves from the bottom of the plant. In case of runner beans, they start, the flowers start at the bottom and they work their way up. So this one, these ones are quite ready. The one next to it is not ready at all. It's too small. And as you work your way up, you will find more beans. This is my early sown ones. They were sown in April and there's plenty on these to pick. So they are all ready and I suspect there might be some which have gone past picking stage where I can get the beans from the, uh, the pod. So these are all ready. This is what I meant when you and I said you have to move the leaves to find the beans. So this has gone past its picking stage and what I can do is just pick the beans from inside the pod. How do you know if the bean has gone past its picking stage? See, as I press 
it's very firm the outer covering of the beans is really hard and fibrous and you can actually feel the fully formed bean inside so in that stage you just peel open the bean pod and then take the beans from inside and use it just like broad beans or edamame beans you can use it in the similar manner i will pick the rest of the beans and then we will see how many we got really really happy with the harvest i've got from the runner beans both the early and late sown runner beans have started so that you can see that's a lot of runner beans now these are yellow beans they are from the first sowing of french beans the they're okay uh, i only got, i've only got two or three yellow beans the rest are purple beans and green beans there's plenty to pick this chart grows everywhere i don't plant them they self sow themselves and i don't intend to move them around so i just pick the leaves as and when they are big enough go through all your plants individually and lift the leaves of the french beans to have a look at whether there are beans inside now these are the only two or three um piece so this one is ready so they are nice and round and but these are not ready they are they are more or less like more to consistency you can pick them in that stage as well but i like the piece inside do not pull it if it doesn't come out use a scissors or a secateur to cut it off because it can break the tendrils of the plant so this is exactly like a mulch too so if you like that kind of stage you can pick them at that stage as well this is the other side of the french bean bed this side uh, i've got more of the purple beans all the dark leafed plants are purple beans the one thing i've noticed is it's this these plants have been attacked by aphids massively and uh, when you move towards the end of the bed the plants are not attacked by aphids i'm not sure what is the reason for that that only two or three plants in the front of the patch has got a fever attack and uh, it hasn't affected the plant that much but it doesn't look good and uh, but the beans are all mangly shaped really twisted and um, so that could be the re- effect of all the aphids sucking the sugar out of the uh, nutrients out of the plants not really sure but i don't use pesticides so they are still there that's just from one bean plant really healthy fresh beans from one plant it's an extremely easy vegetable to grow and you get plenty of harvest provided that you pick them as and when they are ready beans from another plant alone that shows that it is an extremely easy plant to grow and this is the yellow bean look at the amount of beans on just that one plant the so next year if you even if you have a little patch grow french beans it's very very easy to grow
So that's all the French beans I picked today. Look at the amount of beans on it. This is red amaranth. We eat the leaves of it. They're all going into seed because of the heat that it's been getting from the recent weather. So there are some there as well. So I will pick them, but not today because the leaves have to be eaten as fresh, fresh as possible. I'll pick them in a day or two, but we'll make sure that I'm taking the seeded head as well, just to prolong it to one more month. Now for some calendula for today evening's salad. So this is a yellow one. I've been picking them as and when I make salads, just to make it a little bit colorful. And this is an orange one. Really tasty. It's got a mild lemony flavor to your salad. Look at the harvest. Some radishes, Swiss chard, some lettuce some runner beans plenty to eat over the next couple of days this is how it looked when i placed them in a big carton so there's a rhubarb at the end as well i hope you enjoyed this harvest see you soon with another video